Hi, I'm Ethan, and this is my Unit 4 Comparative Religion Reflection. And Article 27, the first question goes over what, I, my, what my thoughts on humanism, if it still exists today. And I think it doesn't exactly exist anymore. I mean, I, I guess I would say it's still around. It's just no longer as big of an influence. Because I don't really see people putting up statues. And humanism is just kind of the cultural movement towards more like a bigger emphasis on human achievements and stuff like that or like stuff like that and people don't really put up statues or and art nowadays is more focused on like abstract stuff like people put paintings of just an apple up and i don't really see that as humanism you know what i mean and then the second question goes uh name a renaissance painting and for that one i just did the last supper the last supper which goes to the humanism major uh achievement or i guess act in mankind right so mm, article 29 asks how did luther's movement affect europe and i would say it affected europe in quite a big way i mean before luther you had one basic religion in all of western europe for the most part it was just catholicism and that was it. That was all you would really see. And then after Luther, you have all these different religions and you would see uh, future wars kind of start to be fought on them. People would hate each other for following a different religion. I would say his effect was pretty massive. And I, the, and it also says the name of country. I named Germany um, just because they had major conflicts going on uh, based off like the difference in religion between their citizens and stuff like that. The Thirty Years War had a bunch of conflicts from from the German perspective. And overall, there was just a massive shift for Germany that they went away from Catholicism in some parts of their country and others didn't. And all, all, to all the overall in Europe, they just had a massive change is, is what I think. So for the last one, are the last questions, uh, the last article, I mean, um, I just answered with how the Council of Trent didn't exactly like slow the spread, but it did kind of control it. And it formed new religious orders, such as the Jesuits, who focused on education, and the Carmelites, who focused on spirituality. And it overall had like a, a better reforming effect to the Catholic Church. And that was about it. That's all I put.